Well, it wouldn't be Christmas without children and singing, and we have both in our concert lobby right now here at the New Classical 96.3 FM. 36 members of the Toronto Children's Chorus are here with their director, Elise Bradley. They have a concert coming up at Roy Thompson Hall. It's called A Chorus Christmas Mysteries of the Season this Saturday at 2 p.m. You can still get tickets, roythompson.com, or by calling the box office at 872-4255. But don't wait, because uh, probably after they perform in our concert lobby, the tickets are going to go really quickly. We are going to start with uh, John Rudder's Angel's Carol. And uh, in just a few minutes, I'll be chatting with Elise Bradley. But first, let's enjoy some singing. Live from our concert lobby here at the New Classical 96.3 FM, the Toronto Children's Chorus, or members thereof, with Elise Bradley. <laughs>
Live from our concert lobby here at the new Classical 96.3 FM, Elise Bradley directing the Toronto Children's Chorus. You just heard, this has never been heard in Toronto before, I believe. This is the uh, Canadian premiere Absolutely. of a uh, Maori song. Yes, a Maori song, yes. It well, is uh, a piece that's been written by Helen Fisher, Te Whakaro Pai Kinga Tangata. Oh, I'm glad you pronounced that. <laughs> <laughs> and is, uh, it's a piece that speaks in Maori, of course, of the birth of Christ. And uh, the text of uh, uh, Peace on Earth, Goodwill Toward Men. Wow. Yes. So, Toronto Children's Chorus, internationally acclaimed, one of the finest treble choruses on the planet, been around since 1978, and you are in your fifth season now That's as right. their director. Okay, so I should ask you, treble chorus, that means no boys over about age 12 or 13. I mean, they get kicked out when their voice changes, yes? Sadly. Sadly. <laughs> yes. Um, well, it's not quite the kicking out that I'd say. They kind of have to, they choose to leave, unless, of course, their voice, uh, their sort of countertenor voice, their, yes. their falsetto voice is working for them, and some choose to stay through for another year if their voice is actually malleable and working for them, and then they do stay. But uh, it is really sad, because a number of them leave far earlier than they really want to. Aww. But we'll look in the future at ways that we can accommodate that have, have you actually spawned any countertenors? Um, <laughs> on the live international platform, I'm really sorry, I couldn't tell you. Probably Jean could answer that question. Oh. Um, I'm really unsure. I know okay. they've uh, spawned a number of uh, singers, fabulous uh, world-class singers out of the Toronto Children's Chorus. But Do as you want to name some names? Of course. Like the one that's going to be singing <laughs> okay. with us very, very shortly. <laughs> okay. And I'm really delighted to have an alumnus come back. I have actually not had the pleasure of meeting her. I get to do that tomorrow. But uh, Christina Zabo is going to be coming and singing with us uh, this oh, weekend. You will love her. Oh, I'm looking forward to it enormously. So there's actually actually over a thousand alumni now of Toronto Children's Chorus and I hear that they, they they are reproducing and their offspring is reaching age to sing and we've got we've got a mum and and uh, right. Susan and Cameron a mum and a son here today that's right very cool. yes it is very cool actually um, I've always sort of uh, thought it would be really wonderful when you have choristers who then produce the next round of choristers yeah. I think that's fabulous actually do they still have to read them keep reading wait yeah. do, 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 they, do they still have to audition or are they automatically in if oh, their parents no, 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 are still have to audition oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how hard is it to get in? Wh what's the audition process? Well, for the audition process, realistically, the children have to be able to, well, in a way, sing in tune and as much oh as yeah. possible. But the reality is, you know, it's about matching pitch. If we feel a, a child can match pitch or is close enough, then we're realistically going to, to work with those children. Because yeah. the reality is we believe that every child has who, who can be close enough will be able to match pitch. And I know that uh, we have um, other staff as well, and uh, some of the ones who, some of the staff who teach in the prep level work, such as Terry Dunn, works very hard, you know, with the with the little ones to to bring them on so that they can. But the you know the audition process is a very friendly process actually. Yeah. They just have to sing a song, a little song, and then we do a few things to just check out their ear. But it's actually uh, not too sort of strenuous. TorontoChildrensChorus.com if you want to find out more and possibly get get your child involved. So now you have over 300 kids at any one time. Time, all of whom are going to be singing on Saturday at Roy Thompson Hall? Absolutely. Oh, right through from the prep, right through to the choral scholars. Wow. Yep. And the alumni.
alumni are singing as well. Absolutely. So, of course, the alumni is, is, a, is a sort of a different beast every year. It's wonderful. And uh, some people can come one year and can't another because they're sitting exams, and some from, come from afar. But uh, every year we probably have about 100 come back and join us. And I, I meet with them just the week before, so I've had one session with some of them. How are they And then sounding? I meet to some tomorrow. Um, well, you know, it's early days. We'll get there, <laughs> I know. I trust them enormously, and uh -oh. they're phenomenal musicians. And uh, so it'll be a wonderful, it's a wonderful process and a wonderful uh, opportunity. And True North Brass is involved as well. Of course. Nothing says Christmas like brass. Absolutely. Along with children's voices. That's right. And you can still get tickets. Uh, the concert is this Saturday, 2 p.m. at Roy Thompson Hall. Go to RoyThompson.com or call the box office at 416-872-4255. So um, what are you going to sing for us now? Well, actually, we're going to in introduce. We, um, we have in a sense, taken on the program. I actually did this while I was in New Zealand, and I know that Jean Ashworth Bartle started this, but we have a conductor's intern. And uh, so the conductor's intern, who happens to be an alumnus this year, uh, we're very delighted, or I should say alumna, I'm sure, sorry, is um, uh, going to be conducting the next piece, and I'm really thrilled that uh, she is our conductor's intern for this year. So uh, she will come and uh, um, perform, or they will perform Les Etoiles by uh, Dr. Mark Sorette, and she worked with um, Mark last year, which I think is lovely. And then we will uh, perform some more from um, Matthias. Matthias, that's Tell right. Tell me a little bit about Matthias. This is on the program on Saturday, yes? Yes, well, our theme this year is mystery and mastery. Ah. So we were looking for music, exactly, that had sort of the Omanium <laughs> Mysterium and exactly, well, you know, this mystery and mastery. So mastering the mysterious and the mysteries of the mastery. So it's all of the above. So we've chosen our music around that kind of theme. So we thought the Salvatore Mundi by Matthias was the most appropriate Christmas, you know, or the holiday season music for that sort of theme. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm really looking forward to the concert and I'm really looking forward to hearing you uh, hearing the choir some more. Um, could you introduce your the conductor's intern? Absolutely. Cassie Lovespring, please. All right. Cassandra Lovespring, actually. We call her Cassie. Cassandra Comely. Lovespring will conduct the Toronto Children's Chorus in Les Etoiles by Mark Surrett, live from our concert lobby here at the new Classical 96.3 FM.
Closet Lobby Forever <laughs> here at Classical 96.3 FM, the Toronto Children's Chorus, directed by Elise Bradley. Vaughn Williams, God bless the master of this house. And just before that, we heard Make We Merry from Salvatore Mundi by William Mathias. Don't miss their Christmas concert, Roy Thompson Hall, this Saturday, December 17th at 2 p.m. The box office is roythompson.com. The phone number is 416-872-4255. I'm Alexa Petrenko at 4.43. We have to head back to Master Control. Let's check your drive. <laughs>